dear students today's topic is chapter number 2 parallel lines in this chapter we are going to learn about interior angle theorem let's start interior angle theorem let's see the statement of this theorem it is if two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal then the inter angles on either side of the transversal are supplementary what is given in this statement there are two parallel lines if both the parallel lines are intersected by a transversal then the inter angles formed on each side of a transversal are supplementary now we will draw a figure over here you can see that in this figure line l and line m are parallel and line n is a transversal of those two parallel line so what is given here line l parallel line m and line n is their transversal now we will take interior angles in this figure you can see your angle a and angle b okay look at in this figure angle a and angle b is one pair of interior angles so angle a and angle b are inter angles formed on one side of a transversal and you can see in this figure angle d and angle c is another pair of inter angles formed on other side of a transversal that is a given and what i have to prove look at in this figure angle a plus angle b equals to 180 degree supplementary means sum of two angle is 180 degree so here the first pair of inter angle is angle a and angle b okay and i have to prove angle a plus b is 180 and even i have to prove that second pair of inter angle is also supplementary that is angle c plus angle d equals to 180 degree proof of this theorem there are three possibilities regarding the sum of measures of angle a and angle b look at in this figure angle a and b is one pair of interior angles now we are talking about the sum of these two angles your first possibility is angle a plus angle b is less than 180 degree okay the sum of these two angle is less than 180 degree the second possibility is that angle a plus angle b is greater than 180 degree and third possibility is angle a plus angle b equals to 180 degree now we will consider that the first possibility is true okay we are going to consider that angle a plus angle b is less than 180 degree is true according to euclid's postulates okay euclid he was one of the great mathematician who has given this postulate he said that if the sum of interior angles is less than 180 degree then the line will intersect each other okay if angle a plus angle b is less than 180 degree then the line l and line m will intersect each other and they will intersect each other on the side of a transversal where angle a and angle b are formed okay so if this two lines will intersect okay this two line will intersect but the line l and line m are parallel to each other when we are considering that angle a plus angle b is less than 180 degree then both the lines intersect each other so our consideration is incorrect why because it goes against the given given is line l parallel to line m but i am getting line l and line m are not parallel that's why my consideration is wrong hence a plus b is less than 180 degree is not a true okay it is impossible say it is equation number 1 now we'll consider that the second possibility that is angle a plus angle b is greater than 180 degree is true okay what i have taken angle a plus angle b is greater than 180 degree is true now we are talking about the second possibility so look at it in this figure angle a and angle d forms linear pair so sum of these two angle is 180 degree okay 
angle C plus angle B is also 180 degree. Look at this figure. Your angle C and B forms linear pair. So sum of these two angles is also 180 degree. Now we will add these two equations. Okay. What we will get? Angle A plus angle D plus angle C plus angle D equals to 180 plus 180 degree. Now here I am going to find out sum of angle D and C. Therefore, I have to shift angle A and angle B to the right hand side of this equations. After adding this 180 plus 180, now we will shift angle A and B to the right hand side of this equation. So what we will get? Angle D plus angle C equals to 360 minus angle A minus angle B, which we can also write as angle D plus angle C equals to 360 degree minus in a bracket angle A plus angle B. Okay, what I have, what I have done over here, I have taken minus sign as a common. And you can look at over here, what is the sum of angle A and angle B? It's greater than 180 degree. Okay. If angle A plus angle B is greater than 180 degree, then what would be the value of 360 minus angle A plus angle B? That would be less than 180 degree. Okay, 360 minus angle A plus B will be less than 1 degree. Okay, you can see by example, you can substitute value of A plus B. What value you can take? Greater than 180. Suppose if I take angle A plus angle B is 200. So 360 minus 200 is 160 degree. So I am getting the sum of D and C is less than 180. Okay, so if A plus B is greater than 180, then 360 minus angle A plus B is less than 180 degree. Therefore, angle D plus angle C is less than 180 degree. So the angle D and angle C are interior angles and the sum of these two interior angles is less than 180 degree and according to Euclid postulates, he told that if the sum of any two interior angles is less than 180 degree, then the line will intersect each other right line l and line m will intersect each other but it's given that line l and m are parallel therefore my consideration is impossible therefore angle a plus angle b is greater than 180 degree is impossible that would be equation number one what was the equation number one angle a plus angle b less than 180 degree is impossible and now equation number two is angle a plus angle b is greater than 180 degree is impossible so you are saying here that angle A plus angle B is less than 180 is incorrect and angle A plus angle B is greater than 180 is also incorrect. Therefore, angle A plus angle B equals to 1 degree is true from 1 and 2. So here I have proved it here. Sum of inter angles formed on one side of a transverse is supplementary. Similarly, I can prove that angle C plus angle D equals to 180 degree. Thank you.